What's the craziest thing that has happened to you in the last year? Well, I'm going to share with you mine. Hey guys, it's John Wentworth from the Wentworth Real Estate Group. And mine is that one year ago today, on this very day, uh, I walked into the office and the manager uh, of where I was working said to me, uh, basically you've got 48 hours to find a new location, to find a new space, a new brokerage. And uh, I was like, yes, let's go, right? Now inside, I was like, oh shit. But on the outside, I was like, let's go because, you know, uh, I knew that God had been preparing me for that moment. Uh, we'd been vacillating for a while about going independent. And, uh, you know, he just kind of said, bye-bye. And, uh, and here we are one year later. And uh, I got to tell you, um, without the support of, uh, first of all, our family, you know, uh, my wife was a rock in that moment. The family that we have here at the Wentworth Real Estate Group, each other, um, you know, everyone was a rock for one another. And uh, and the support of you, you know, the support of our community, uh, the support of our clients. And, and so really what I want to say is thank you so much. You know, in that one year, our business has just taken off. Uh, it continues to grow, uh, you know, in the last year since that day that we were asked to vacate Remax, uh, we've got 425 transactions pending and closed, which is just a, a testament to our, our customers. Uh, it's a testament to our brand. It's a testament to um, the team here at the Wentworth Real Estate Group. You know, we've got so many great people here that are just focused on serving people. And, uh, you know, that's what allows us to continue to grow. Uh, so many great people here from, from staff to agents. Uh, we definitely wouldn't be here without them. And uh, so we just want to say thank you. You know, um, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you so much. And I uh, just look forward to, to continuing to serve our community and our customers and, and growing and, uh, you know, sharing love and compassion with everyone that we come into contact with. And so uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. And hey, we're going to do a little flash black, flashback. So check out this video. Have a great day, guys. God bless you and thank you. Super, super, super exciting news. And uh, that's why Jen is here, because I went home and talked to Jen first, and then I'm bringing it all to you. We are going independent. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, wow. and I figured you kind of knew. <laughs> so, we are, I mean, super excited for that, obviously, but, you know, there's been a lot of friction since we just moved some title work around, and it really has tipped our hand or my hand in the fact to of you know what's really at play here which is all about title um you know whether we matter or whether the next person that could come in and fill our spot matters and so with that said obviously you know i appreciate all of your support i i thoroughly hope that you're all excited about it i le look towards david niemer because he's like holy shit i just moved here <laughs> um, and if david niemer says i'm going back to remax i'm gonna hug him and love on him um, but at the same time, I ask for your support and yours as well. I'm happy. I trust you. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate it, bro. And that's what it's all about is, is just trusting us. You know, I, I will share our, my hand's been forced a little bit. Our hand essentially is as a whole. But I've been in the background for months researching all of this stuff um, on whether it made sense to go somewhere else or to just go independent. So if you're ever thinking about going independent, come along for the ride because we've got two weeks to get the hell out of here. Anything you think stands out, anything you think you might like, anything you think is a good area, and then I'll show you what we're looking at. I think anything that isn't a, a, a neg, you know what I mean, like if it's a lateral move and it gives us the space we need is okay, right. but we're not going backwards. Yeah, absolutely. John Wentworth here, obviously. I always text you when I'm in front of the building. It's looking great and I'm still looking for some space. So give me a shout, let me know if there's an opportunity. Um, I would take half for sure. See ya. I mean, this sucker's beat Should up too. No. We don't want to leave Don up here. He might go out in the street and get hit by a car. I've always felt you could do some cool stuff with the garage door and. <laughs> Tony, oh, here's. Yeah, you can pull the door. Yeah, literally, you can just Tony get back in the lumber. Avalanche right in the door. 
we could make it work. I'm just saying what I was saying is the if if they're if we're three thousand and another place is three thousand, but it's a shell and we're stuck with the wall in the middle, then the shell is gonna offer us more room. But if that's forty five hundred and it has a wall in the middle, then it's already way bigger. I wanted to talk about what's something that we could focus on as a team um, to propel us forward, which I think is confidence. And and I think, you know, confidence is a funny thing, right? Because you always hear this term, fake it till you make it. And and I think that applies. Um, I think that applies. You know, I think if you're not confident, you have to figure out a way to fake it until you make it. But I think that, when, you know, if you if you strip all that away, our confidence lies in the truth. Right? And the truth is we're just going to do all we can to serve our clients the best of our ability. So we don't have to know all of the answers. Right? Nobody does. Andy knows more than Myron about one question and Myron knows more than Andy about all the others. <laughs> but truly, so, so I think confidence really is a trait that comes from understanding that you're there to serve them rather than sell them. Right? Because how can you not be confident in that? If you're always trying to get to the sale then I think confidence, you know, when you, well, that's the outcome, right? If you're always trying to get to the sale and it doesn't occur, that's going to beat up on your confidence. But if, but if you're attached to the process, which is just serving them and helping them and, and answering their questions, then it's easy to get confident because you're not worried about the desired outcome. The outcome will come with time. So we are uh, day two of getting fired by Remax. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, oops, I hope I didn't lose a spot for him there. Oh, this is mine. Um, just, uh, you know, shared with, I mean, literally the manager came in here yesterday and said, um, you're out in 48 hours. So, you know, shared yesterday with the team um, it, and, you know, I, I didn't really have a fear in that, but you never know how people are going to react. And they were all overwhelmed. They loved it. They are all fired up and ready to move. I wanted to move. Um, and then we just had our team meeting the 24 hours later, same sentiment. Everything is in place. I've got a shitload of work to do. I gotta figure out where we're going, when we're going, how we're transferring our license, how we have zero interruption in our pattern, right? And I know John Sheplak likes to talk about interrupt the pattern. No, we need this pattern of being able to sell to just keep going, but every other pattern is totally interrupted and I love that. Um, you know, this morning we, we talked about, uh, we played that song, you know, Eye of the Storm and, and the storm cleanses things. And so the storm yesterday was you were fired and everything else now is a cleanse. And I feel like there's such a weight off my shoulder. I just feel like just, you know, like opening up my shirt and it's the John Wentworth group. We don't have to talk about Remax anymore. And I loved Remax. I love my time there, but I truly believe that our brand is held back right now and we're now propelled to go forward. So I come in my office <clears throat> And uh, Tony's got this on my desk highlighted. So it says, this is a, uh, a Ecclesiastes, I don't even know how to say that. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, how do you say that? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Um, but this is uh, a time for everything. So there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. Tony picked this. I haven't read this yet. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Well, I guess it's time that we, uh, that, you know, we start to, uh, start to build. And, uh, you know, it's uh, a time to dance. It's a time to gather. It's a time to embrace. It is uh, you know, a time to throw away the old and embrace the new. And it's just a time to, I think, move forward and, and understand that, uh, you know, God's been preparing me for this moment my entire life. And, you know, in that, the things that I've endured, this is so minuscule because the truth is we have this huge platform. And all this amazing team that we've built and all these amazing people that are supporting me and supporting each other and supporting the brand. And it's just, uh, it's, that's what makes me emotional is 
there is zero doubt from anyone on this team. And that makes me obviously uh, move with zero doubt. And so I'm just thankful. I'm thankful to the Lord for blessing us for this. Uh, I just, I want to make sure that as I go through this process, that I give a lot of glory to God. And I think that uh, get moving so fast, it's easier to forget about that. And uh, I just got to be really focused on that right now and, and uh, make sure that the people around me remind me to do that. Uh, because I want to be able to glorify him in this, in this moment, in this storm, if you will, um, because we're going to come out in, uh, in the tropics. <laughs> Peace.